this book called The Survivor's Club. My friend's mom gave it to me on Christmas and some good stuff in there. I'm not typically big on reading, but it's kind of a habit I want to get back into. I've noticed that there's really not a lot to do once you're out like camping and stuff, unless you're on a hike or something. I remember when me and Sean were together, we spent the majority of our time just doing nothing. So I feel like there's definitely some kind of hobby you should get into while living on the road. I think reading would be a good one. A good way to like stimulate your brain or whatever. <laughs> So I actually did not get any sleep last night. It wasn't too terrible because the day before I slept until like 3 o'clock or whatever. I don't remember what time it was. But as far as last night, no sleep. So at the moment, I'm running off straight off of the coffee I am drinking right now. But it did help catching the sunrise. I have not gone to an actual coffee shop since I was in Arizona. I really used to enjoy catching sunrises in the morning, just soaking in the sunrise, and I felt like that really helped change my day. And so, thinking about that, I decided it would be a good idea to actually just go to a coffee shop and just come here, soak it all in. And so I came here, started reading this book that I got, and it's overall, it's been a good start to the day. I am thinking of going to my old job, my actually my first job that I had when I was younger. So I used to work at a Chick-fil-A. I used to ride my bike there actually because this was like before the Jeep. So this was like one, or would it be BJ? I don't know. B before Jeep. So one BJ. So one BJ, one year before the Jeep. Um, I was working at a Chick-fil-A and it was about a seven minute bike ride. This was back when I was still in shape, so I could ride my bike there in like seven minutes. And I actually really enjoyed working at the Chick-fil-A. Um, for multiple reasons, I would like to not go back there, mostly because I'm just kind of still sick of Chick-fil-A in itself, but I am really good friends with the owner there as well as most of the crew, so I feel like I would be okay going there. Um, the biggest issue is, I would not be able to film anything if I was working there. I was hoping to get a job that I could go and I could still film, you know, whatever I was doing. The good thing about this job is it'll be consistent. I know what I'm doing. I thought about applying for like somewhere else. Um, I was looking at maybe working in a coffee shop or something, but the only issue with that is if I worked at a coffee shop, despite the fact that I'd probably love it for a while, I would have to learn their whole system and as opposed to Chick-fil-A, I already know everything about it, so I wouldn't have to learn anything. And especially being here, they know that. I don't have to like explain that to them or tell them that I have experience. They were like the people who made me who I am, so I could just walk in and if they need work, then I have trouble believing that I won't get it. On the other hand, it is quite possible that they don't need any help right now, in which case I will have to find another job. But we'll see. Um, I probably should have done this from the beginning, but it just is not my personal preference. I was able to contact DoorDash yesterday and get a little bit more information on what that is. And apparently this area is on pause, which I don't understand. I've contacted customer support like five times prior to this, and I guess this was the first person who actually looked into it. Apparently the reason that I can't get any work here is because there's already like so many people doing DoorDash in this area that it's basically just not available. I really don't know what I'm gonna do today. Um, I have the whole day ahead of me. Unlike every other day, I've had like nothing to do because I wake up at three, sun goes down like three hours later, and by that time I just feel like it's the end of the day. And today I actually have a full day. Full day, no money, which means I can't get anything for the Jeep. As soon as I get my stimulus check, I'm gonna start ordering everything I know that I need and then we'll worry about everything after. I need to find a place that can fix the windshield. My donor, Larry Stockman, actually reached out and told me that if I get in contact with him, he's still up for helping me fix the windshield, so that's gonna help a lot because that gives me <laughs> the whole rest of the stimulus check to fix the muffler, the brakes, and all that other stuff. 
Um, I still have to find a shop here. But aside from that, I'm gonna keep enjoying my coffee here at the coffee shop and do that research stuff. You guys remember how I was just kind of ranting about how I haven't had any luck with DoorDash at all? It's literally been like a week and I haven't accomplished a single DoorDash order simply because it won't let me. It wouldn't even let me get to the actual app to schedule anything. It just told me I couldn't, it basically was, I was a sitting duck. It wouldn't let me do anything. Well, right after I was done talking about that, I still logged in the app because I had this addiction of oh, constantly checking on this app to see if I was able to get an order in and I found out that it was actually letting me schedule times. Now the times are really odd but I scheduled like every single time I can get this week and out of those times one of them is today. I have a schedule from 11 to 12. The reason that I'm excited about this is because unlike every other job option here, DoorDash is something I would be able to do while living on the road. Um, I had a few reasons why I never attempted it in the past, but I think I might try to figure out how I can do it while living on the road. This way, if I ever need money or I'm very tight on money, about to just go start delivering orders, wish me luck because I have no idea how well this is going to go. Might be a total flop. Might not get to do any orders. I don't know how the app works and I might <laughs> have to argue with people. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. Stop number uno. Let's Bush's chicken. Let's hope they give me the food because I don't know how this works. It's drive through only. Hello, I'm here to pick up a DoorDash order from Mia. Yeah. Thank you. Alrighty. Pizza time. Starting route. So I completed the order, but they put on the ticket to make sure that I included ranch. And they had ranch for their salad. At the light, turn right onto East Cuthbert Avenue. I really hope that's what they were referring to, because otherwise there was not ranch in the bag. So cross In half fingers. a mile. So far, first trip, complete success. Like this, I think, I haven't got any complaints yet. So, I gotta accomplish like three orders in an hour. Made roughly $15 an hour, so I guess it's like, decent. Not complaining about it, that's for sure. Well, now that I actually have my foot in the door, it's sending me more orders. So I just scheduled to dash till three o'clock. Nothing better to do? Might as well make some money. Let's go! Bagging money. Check. This isn't a DoorDash order. This is mine now. I still haven't slept all day. And I also have not eaten all day. Time to go see my puppy. Girl's name is Sonora. I tell you friends I adore her. And when she dances, oh brother, she's a hurricane in all kinds of weather. My girl's name is Sonora. I tell you friends I adore her. And when she dances, oh brother, she's a hurricane in all kinds of weather. 